Good morning to each and every one of you who has tuned in to today's edition of Rhapsody of Realities. I welcome you in Jesus' mighty name. Today is December the 22nd and our man of God would like to share a message entitled, Excited About His Return. Our opening theme verse is from the book of Luke chapter 21 verse 36 and I read, Watch ye therefore and pray always that ye may be accounted worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass and to stand before the Son of Man. Hallelujah! Jesus is coming again. 1 Thessalonians chapter 4 verses 16 to 17 gives us a graphic revelation of his amazing return. It says, For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trump of God, and the dead in Christ shall rise first. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air, and so shall we ever be with the Lord. Hallelujah! I am so inspired just to think that one day the Lord will show up with a shout. It isn't someone else that's going to shout for Him, but the Lord Himself will. Some people think we're hyping His return too much, but that's because they don't know who Jesus is. He is the monarch of the universe. The whole earth belongs to Him, governments and galaxies inclusive. He rules the world. While on earth, He often went with a multitude of disciples. How about when he entered Jerusalem? The Bible says in the book of Matthew chapter 21 verse 10, All the city was moved, saying, Who is this? People came out from everywhere and lined the streets. All these happened when he was the lamb to be sacrificed. What do you think will happen now he's coming as the King of Kings and Lord of Lords? Hallelujah! Be inspired by the new heaven and the new earth. Revelation chapter 22 verse 5 says, And there shall be no night there, and there need no candle, neither light of the sun. For the Lord God giveth them light, and they shall reign for ever and ever. How glorious! We haven't followed cunningly devised fables. 2 Peter chapter 1 verse 16, We have received truth. We've trusted in His truth and lived in His truth. What we're doing for the Lord, reaching out with the gospel and winning souls around the world, aren't for nothing. We are preparing for His return. He told us He will be back. So, we are telling everybody, these are the final moments of the last days. The time left is so short. Therefore, we will fulfill His vision and prepare the world for His return. Hallelujah! My brothers and sisters, wherever you are, kindly raise your hand and take this prayer right after me. Dear Lord, I am inspired by your soon return. Therefore, with speed, fervency and urgency, I preach the gospel to those in my world. I pray now for those who haven't known you, for their hearts to be open to the gospel, with faith stirred in them for their salvation. In Jesus' name, Amen. Hallelujah. That was beautiful. Now, for you to understand today's message even deeper, kindly take some time to study and meditate on these following scriptures. From the book of Acts chapter 4 verse 12 and the book of Hebrews chapter 9 verse 28. Hallelujah. You know what to do. Click on the subscribe button. Share this beautiful gospel to your world and tune in again tomorrow for another beautiful message from our man of God, Pastor Chris Oyakilome. We trust you have been blessed by this devotional. We invite you to make Jesus Christ the Lord of your life by praying thus. O Lord God, I believe with all my heart in Jesus Christ. Son of the living God, I believe he died for me and God raised him from the dead. I believe he is alive today. I confess with my mouth that Jesus Christ is the Lord of my life from this day. Through him and in his name, I have eternal life. I'm born again. Thank you, Lord, 
for saving my soul. I am now a child of God. Hallelujah. Congratulations. You are now a child of God. To receive more information on how you can grow as a Christian, please get in touch with us by emailing us at tni.msia at gmail.com. That's tni.msia at gmail.com. We look forward to hearing your testimony. You are blessed.